pull out the front grate and you will see that it is tethered by one cable. This is the front I.O. LED board cable. Unplug this cable and pull the front gate aside. So we're swinging it out. And then there is our cable. I'm going to go ahead and show you. See the cable that's holding our front gate there. So let's go ahead and get that. Get this unplugged. Okay. Now there's there's the front gate. If it will focus, here's the front gate. No USB, HP Media Smart Server. So very simple. Set that aside. Okay, now we can almost see our goal here. Actually, we can. If you look right here, you see the, the familiar RAM tab. Uh, our sticker RAM is back there, but we need to get to the motherboard. And next, we need to get this screw here. And then we'll have to pull this aside, and there's a screw back here. So, we need this screw and a screw back here. So let's go ahead and get those. And these two hold the motherboard in place. It would be a lot easier if this was level and my drive door was not giving me fits. Okay, we've got our two screws out. Now it says we're going to remove the motherboard by sliding it forward. If you encounter some resistance, if you encounter some resistance, jiggle gently from side to side as you pull. Okay. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what to grab, but I'm not feeling any resistance. I'm, I'm just, I barely pulled on the board, but I, I don't want to pull on the board completely. So once I get my tab out, I can gently pull on my tab. And we've got the motherboard out. Doesn't seem like a typical motherboard, does it? Very small. Okay. Let's put our case aside. Got that back here. Let's just let's just have a look. See what we've got here in this motherboard. Now here's here we go. We got the back, which has our Ethernet, our eSATA, and our USBs. There's our power cord. Our power switch actually. It's very interesting that the, the battery is uh, is mounted vertical instead of horizontal. And here here is the uh, the goal. And under here I guess we have our CPU and we have a chipset under here. Apologize for the twisting the, the board all around and making everybody crazy. Looks like we're gonna go for the RAM now. Still following the directions. Replace the existing RAM with your new stick. Be sure it's well seated. It's probably a good idea to hang on to the old memory. I think that's a good idea. Go ahead and pop this out. Nice and gently. And it does pop out. Looks like this is a Samsung 512 PC2 5300. And that is exactly what we have purchased. So now we're going to take our Brand new sticker RAM, our G Skill, which is a PC2 5300. It is 667 megahertz and it is a 2 meg stick, 2 gig stick actually. I'll have to have a, a bloopers video at the end of this. I've got plenty of them. I'm going to go ahead and keep that memory tray. But you can see that this one has got a nice heat spreader on it, so. All those add-ins will be cranking, and our memory will be able to stay nice and cool. Okay, I've got that backwards. So you always need to, before you start shoving RAM in, make sure that you've got it correctly oriented, and there is a tab right here that uh, does it. So, now we don't, I'm looking to see how springy this motherboard is, because when you install RAM, you don't want to bend the motherboard. 
So it looks like it's uh, it's pretty taut, but I'm going to actually I'm going to grab the, the bottom lip here and give it two big pushes right there. So it's clicked nicely in the place. We can see the little hold back tabs have uh, clicked nicely as well. Now we've got our RAM in. Okay, so we've got our home server back into place. We plug everything in in the exact same spot that it was, Ethernet, any USBs, and your power, and give it uh, give the power button a little push, and then we probably have, oh, about 60 seconds of nervous hard drive activity, and then your console will go green. So log back into your Windows Home Server, click the Settings button, and then go down to Resources, and as you see on this screen, you should be able to see under your home server, 1.97 gigabytes of RAM. And now our home server has a little bit more room to breathe. So now don't forget that uh, you also need to do a virtual memory uh, modification. And I will have a link to that in the show notes. So once again, this is not an official HP upgrade video. This is just meant to show you... Uh, kind of what the steps are involved uh, beyond photos and beyond the blogs, seeing uh, someone walk through it themselves. So thank you for uh, watching the video. Check it out at homeservershow.com. If you have any comments or questions, please visit homeservershow.com.